got a word from our sponsor, Manscaped. They're the leaders in below the belt male grooming. They're the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. The Lawnmower 4.0 is still undefeated to this day. Nobody has beaten it. Ceramic blades, advanced skin safe technology to help cut down on those grooming accidents. It is waterproof so you can shave in the shower and it has an LED light so you can shave in the dark in the shower. But do not get out of that shower because we have package deals for you, man. In case you're a fan of package deals, uh, Manscaped has the performance package, right? Now, in the performance package, it comes with the Lawnmower 4.0. It comes with the Weed Whacker, which is a nose and ear hair trimmer, right? So you shave up your man parts, then you hit your nose, then you hit your ears. Well, what else comes with that performance package? You got ball toner, you got ball deodorant, bro. Manscaped even comes with complimentary Manscaped boxers. I have graduated them to my lucky draws. And if you act now, you get a Manscaped travel shed bag to keep all of your goodies in. Listen, this is what I want to do. I want to save y'all some money. Vice says this, go to manscaped.com, get everything over there, get the performance package, throw a couple more lawnmowers in there. Use promo code VOCH20, V-O-C-H-20. 20 to get 20% off and free shipping. And don't forget that Manscaped ships internationally. All right? Love y'all to pieces. Manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. And we back. We got a film session today. We're going to talk about Dak Prescott. But before we get started, man, I had a lot of plays I wanted to show y'all today, man. I wanted this to be like a 20-play extravaganza, but y'all don't be liking long film sessions. Because if you did like the long film sessions, you would tune into my Patreon, patreon.com slash Vach Lombardi, where we watch our longer film sessions, all right? So today I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plays to show y'all. Trust me, I wanted to show you 25, but if you want to see all 56, go to Patreon, man. Appreciate y'all. That link will be in the description. Um, today, this is what I wanted to do, man. I wanted to start off with um, some of the bad that I saw from Dak Prescott because that seems to be the conversation on the internet, right? You know, we're 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 looking for uh, we're looking for the bad, we're looking for the comparisons. But boy, when I get these one two these one two bad plays out the way, oh, we gonna go crazy uh, with some of the QB one type things we saw from Dak Prescott there. So hey, man, get you a snack. And let's get busy. Also, something else too. I wanted to break down the sacks or whatever, but hey, we're gonna do that on the Patreon. Some got to be exclusive for the Patreon people because I feel like a lot of that uh, was offensive line stuff as opposed to Dak just holding the football. Y'all know how to how the crowd on the internet get. Let's run this play, and then we'll come back and we'll have a discussion about it. Um, I feel like Dak really had out of the whole day, right? He, you know, he he was a little rusty. He started off uh, not too too great, but he did. Him and the offense kind of kind of caught fire towards the end of the game. And I I think that's uh that's more so who we are uh than where we were the first couple of drives or whatever but we knew that was going to be the case we got a little time to figure this out we got 12 or so games to figure this out um this was one of the plays that uh that i felt like was on deck this uh throw to michael gallup it was a little bit behind gallup and and to be fair man we can always hit you guys with the if it if it touches your hands and it should be a catch um but you know i just also want to be fair to gallup you know uh if we're going to be asking gallup to help Dak, we got to ask Dak to help gallup also and a ball in front of him and there probably shouldn't have been much reason why the ball was behind him i know there was a defender kind of floating 31 kind of floating there um but you know, Dak put it behind Gallup, and that's just kind of is what it is with that. And we got this play here, right? Uh, you know, a couple of people was like, "Yo, Vaj, why does Dak keep throwing into triple coverage?" Well, and, and we we probably should have known something, right? We we should have known something by the sentence, right? Because first of all, who's triple covering Noah Brown? You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's, I feel like it kind of happened in the Eagles game one time on accident, but you know, we ain't really just out here triple covering Noah Brown. What this was is the safety gained ground quickly and Jeff Okuda left CD Lamb and three people ended up on Noah Brown. This, this was really Noah Brown versus his defender. Um, but like I said, the Lions closed a little bit of ground on that on defense, so good for him. At this point, let's see when Dak was about to throw it at one, two, three, right here. Um, at at this point right here, it you know, the ball placement advantage gives us the win like if Dak placed the ball right where he places it well not where he plays it but if he would have placed it uh like right around this direction that could have been a w for noah brown but like i said it was a little bit overthrown which is cool these overthrows are gonna happen um and then you kind of get your safety help over and your db your uh, corner help back from a cooter right there so it looked like it was triple coverage but it wasn't triple coverage now was this a throw that Dak should have been making in the first place absolutely not uh, i wouldn't have wanted Dak to make that throw i wanted 
the deck to probably do do something a little bit safer. Um, but hey, man, it is what it is. Good block right there from uh, Terrence Steele. All right, let's get into this other work. I want to show you guys this play, which is also an incompletion, which is also an incompletion where the intended receiver had three defenders around him. Um, but man, I just want to talk y'all through what Dak Prescott was thinking right here. And this was about to be a crazy completion. But like I said, man, Lions defenders, they just made a fantastic read and a, and, a, and a fantastic play here. Let me show you what Dak was thinking here. So first of all, let me see one two three so you got cd lamb working up the scene versus linebacker here that's already bad business for you that's already bad for your health right this ends up being a tampa two type look because the the linebacker ends up playing playing deep like this um but he's just more so following cd lamb which is a mismatch here but what dak prescott is seeing right before he throws the ball at this point this safety down bottom his his whole body is turned to the sideline right his face his whole body everything his momentum is turned to the sideline and if it's two places you can attack cover two is behind the corners and it's in between the safeties what Dak is saying right now he's anticipating I ain't gonna say nothing about no no other quarterback here, right? But Dak is anticipating. He's anticipating CD beating this linebacker, in which he will, and he's anticipating this safety not having enough athleticism to flip his body and get back into um into that that deep middle. Now, to be fair, the safety made a fantastic play doing that, but the safety not supposed to be doing that in real life, right? Uh, but what what Dak's job is at this point, if the safety is going to be facing this outside right here, then his only read is 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 CD versus linebacker get the ball over the linebacker to hit CD. And to be fair, the ball made it directly over the linebacker. This was going to be one of those tight window throws that, that people say that Dak can't make. Um, it's just that the the safety made a, a a fantastic play from getting his back turn to getting back inside over here. Now. Should Dak have not thrown this ball? I'm, I'm not I'm not here to say what he shouldn't have done on this play because the physics makes sense, right? Like the 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 damn football of this makes sense to make it, right? It's just that 31 made a fantastic play and there was nothing we could do about that. But if we got a quarterback, one that can make throws like this, dog, I'm all for making throws like this, you know? And, you know, whatever happens, man, you know, I, I know some people want to be a dink and dunk type team, but, man, when we were a dink and dunk type team, y'all ain't want to be a dink and dunk type team. You feel me? So if we got to take shots like this uh, where we get these one-on-ones with CD in the matchup versus the linebacker, man, I take that but good play by the safety i'll give him his props now if y'all remember a, a couple of weeks ago we talked about clearance i told y'all to write that down and it will be on the test y'all go in the chat box and tell me what clearance means if you don't know what clearance means it means you wasn't in class that day so we talked about uh quarterback two and him having to you know throw to a receiver or a tight end at the time who who cleared linebackers it was, it was it was like a five yard route or something like that and he had to clear the linebacker to get open this is the noah brown play in which he fumbled which i hate that he fumbled this would have been another seven <laughs> if not but um hey same concept right we're talking about Dak throwing with a little bit of anticipation because all noah brown had to do was clear this defender right and this was going to be a, a, a easy clear but it was, it was 15 yards downfield so the throw has to be there of course uh we clear that defender noah brown gets the catch he gets flipped in the air like the matrix i wish he'd have held on to it uh but just in terms of Dak prescott just making a making a play downfield getting us into the red zone which should have been seven it was going to be fantastic. Hold that ball next time, though. Now, a couple years ago, before like Dak Prescott like really, really got in his bag, you know, we were working on hard counts and things like that, right? And we, and it was at a point where we was getting really good at it. We was getting you know you know free plays and all that kind of stuff. But we we're talking about the anatomy of it, and it wasn't always for free plays and offsides. Sometimes you do hard counts just to get guys to. Um, you know dedicate themselves to whatever coverage that they're in right so like if you see safeties like they may be disguising something they're more likely going to get into their design position because hey you, you you have to respect the hard count i could snap the ball right here right so when Dak hard counts right here we see number five kind of coming down like he's going to blitz here and you know we also see the end kind of jump inside so that means that you know this gap that this end once was this linebacker will be taking that spot so now that we know that five is not going to drop back in coverage then that means we got all this space around the 40 wide open which is where Dalton Schultz ends up and uh if you if you Dak Prescott all you got to do is accurately over the linebacker mm, accurately throw the ball over the top of the linebacker and Dalton Schultz gets an easy catch simply because we knew what the uh what the linebacker was doing pre-snap 
Now, when you watch the LA Rams, one thing that they do to make it incredibly hard to cover them is that they run a lot of crossing routes with their number one guy. Hey, we got a CD lamb. Let's line that dude up everywhere and just run crosses with him. That seems to be some of the things uh, that he can do to get like really, really open. And I, I think the, the, the Cowboys are kind of somewhat having a problem getting open in general, right? Just just relatively in general. Um, but if there's one thing you can do to just kind of get the momentum going, just to kind of start to get any guy open, just just run across it with him. They'll get open. It'll happen. Especially when you're in man coverage there's nothing they can do about that but besides that though man that kept us on track you know the plays that i show you were, were were some of our more highlighty plays or whatever um but you know for the most part hey man that that made easy reads like this you know like we'll put cd lamb in motion to dictate where the zone was so the top of the defense is kind of in a zone look nobody ran directly with cd lamb uh Dak is going to look everybody off to the right come back to the left and we're going to be reading this well we we put anzalone in a blender all day man so yeah if he would have you know defended the tight end we would have hit Noah but since he went to Noah let me go, just go back a little bit since Anzalone you know ended up going to Noah then Dalton Schultz was wide open right like we did this all day and um you know, it, it, that's 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 the the simple part, right? You know, Dak is no bus driver. Dak is no Jimmy Garoppolo type character. You know what I mean? Like like Dak can do all types of things in his offense. We just got to man. We just got let we got to let our guy rock, man. We got to let our guy rock. Now, should this still be a team that you know leans on the run, that leans on on defense and things like that? Yeah, sure. We can we can do those things, man. This is gonna be a um, touchdown to Hendershot shot right here. We're gonna get uh, a shift. Then we're gonna get uh, a motion. And we're going to get uh, a hinder shot in the back of the end zone. It's going to be ball game, man. And look, the, the one thing that that Dak Prescott did this game, and like I said, I'm not going to disrespect our other guy because he did great. The one thing that Dak Prescott did really well this game that we didn't really do uh, in the last game is when our defense gives us turnovers, we, we got to take advantage. We got to take advantage, man. How many times do we get a turnover or we get a block on punt team or something like that? And, you know, let me give y'all some 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 fresh film to look at. Let me put y'all there and just let it run. How many times do we get um, how many times did we get like a um, block on punt team or like a turnover or something like that? And we get good field position, but we couldn't finish. Right. And we just ended up getting like seven or something like this was the one game where we didn't lead in my her points. Like my her got his points here, but he did. But we didn't lead in my her points. We actually got touchdowns this game, man, because, you know, like yeah. Yeah, man. You know, we did a good job keeping the offense going. But this game, you know, what I mean, but this dude, even on a rusty day, I, I still do think four was rusty. Let me be clear. Four was rusty. He was rusty, but rust can be removed. <laughs> rust can be removed, man. You know, we just got to keep playing. We got to get the timing of this thing, and we just got to, you know, get it all um, get it all figured out there. Zeke, when I thought his knee was hurting, he's over there hurdling people. You know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, man, Dak was fine. Dak, Dak played well. But that's just the, it's the Lions defense. Well, sure, it could be anybody's defense. You know, a, 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 a rusty comeback is a rusty comeback. I'll take it. We got time to think about it. Plus, um, it's not these defenses that I'm worried about. I think our Cowboys offense can can manufacture um, points versus anybody. It won't be like 40 points, right? We're not going to be this offense where we're the number one in the league. We can, we can put 40 points on, 30 points on anybody. It ain't going to be that, right? But I do think our defense can play with any offense, and that's going to put us in good in good position. And I think our offense can, um, can do enough to complement that even when we start to play better team so but we got time to figure that out our, our first big test is gonna be like the vikings or something because the packers ain't ain't playing great aaron Rodgers cool he's a legend but vikings probably gonna be the first test test and then we'll play the eagles again then playoffs that's just how i feel all right uh that's all i got for y'all man if y'all wanted to see the offensive line work we're gonna do that on patreon right now so um Y'all probably gonna see this video later, so it should be on the Patreon already. So we're we're, we're doing this pre-volume. So go ahead, tap into patreon.com slash Vice Lombardi. Follow me on all my social media platforms, and I will catch y'all next time, man. Leave a like or something. Salute.